So before we start this video, I want to first start off by saying I really feel bad for the developers and the ground people that uh, have lost their jobs today. Not only that, Joe State has decided to leave 343 and join Xbox Publishing, where the hell Xbox Publishing is. So I decided out of curiosity to look up what Xbox Publishing is. It's basically a group of gaming industry professionals partnering with world-class independent developers on innovative Xbox franchises. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he probably just left 343 on his own accord, like it had said, and just decided to join a bigger picture where he can actually flourish with some ideas and actually make better games for Xbox. But... But frankly, with all the news that has came out over the past year with 343, I'm not surprised Joe left. 343 is nothing but a fucking mess. Hell, I, I, I'm kind of glad Bonnie left because Bonnie was doing absolutely nothing while the studios were just fighting with each other over control of everything instead of having a clear, consist of ship to sail. Because if I'm looking at the report correctly, 60 people were actually let go at 343. It's the same fucking mess over again. Instead of keeping talent there in order to develop the game and speed up process and get content out there and get Halo Infinite into a good state, Microsoft is in more of a position of worrying about their piggy bank than worrying about getting Halo Infinite into a good state. Hell, even some of the exclusive to these days just suck ass. And I even made a previous video where they cancel co-op, couch co-op is what I should say. <laughs> I told them if they don't get their act together and start pumping out content, when COD comes out, the newer one, and Modern Warfare 2, when it came out, it's going to bury this fucking game. And spoiler alert, it has. And the sad part is... I'm starting going into that camp of where we need to just stop development for Halo Infinite and put Halo, Halo, the franchise, onto the shelf. Because mother of God, this last 10 to 15 years of dealing with Halo under 343's management has been nothing but an absolute failure. And now some people would disagree with me it hasn't been a failure. Yeah, it's been a failure. After release, after release, after release. My God, when they released MCC, it was a mess. And after all that's happened, I don't think Microsoft cares about Halo anymore. I'm really starting to think that. All their actions that they have done right now, they haven't even promoted Halo Infinite. I, have, I haven't even seen any promotional stuff besides on their Instagram or their Halo page. That's it. I don't see commercials for Halo Infinite. Oh, a new season's come out. Why don't you come play? I don't see any advertisement for that. And as I go around and I start to get people's feedback from what they're playing on Halo Infinite, theater's still a buggy mess. Custom games is still a fucking buggy mess. And with the new features they've added, you know, the custom browser and Forge, plenty of fucking bugs there that haven't been fixed at all. What is going on? What is going on at 343? Does 343 just not care? You know, it's like it's like we have to get angry with them. It's like we have to get angry and mean and just for them to do their damn jobs. Because, like, do they just make the developers sit there all day and do absolutely nothing but twiddle their thumbs? And to this day, we still have the same bugs. And I'm not talking about just these regular bugs or, like, disconnections or anything like that. No, no. Custom games is still bugged. Theater mode is still bugged. New bugs have popped up in Forge. New bugs in the custom browsers have decided to rear its ugly head. And I hate to say this, someone needs to be fired. Somebody's not worried about fixing these bugs and getting Halo back on track once again. Because this time again, Halo's just not fun anymore. I'm sorry, I would rather... I would rather people that are playing Halo Infinite to go play Halo MCC. If anybody has any interest of in playing Halo Infinite, do not play it. It is not rewarding. Go play a real fucking Halo game, Halo MCC. I'm going to tell you the reason why you should go play Halo MCC because at least Halo MCC is a Halo game for where there's at least a progression system in there and it feels at least it's rewarding to where you can actually advance to where you want to go. 
at least your time would be more respected in Halo MCC versus Halo Infinite, where the cash shop would like to bleed you dry for armor that is absolutely useless and has like no meaning. Like I go look at the cash shop and I see the cat ears and I see somebody in it and I'm kind of thinking to myself, you just spent money on cat ears for what? Just to show off and be goofy and stuff? Like the, the, the cap shop in Halo Infinite, and I hate to say it, is probably the only functioning thing in that fucking game. And I'm telling you right now, if you care about Halo, just abandon Halo Infinite. Don't, like, do not play Halo Infinite. I'm, I, I'm actually for asking for a boycott right now. Boycott the hell out of Halo Infinite. Go play Halo MCC. I just jumped on last night to go play Halo MCC, and I had fun. I played more than three fucking games. I could barely play one game on Halo Infinite, and I cannot stand it. The only real problem I would have with Halo MCC is that there's no map selection. If they added map selection into this game, oh fuck would this be a perfect Halo game. And at least you won't have to worry about, you know, campaign DLC being in Halo Infinite because there's enough campaign in freaking Halo MCC to keep you happy. And at least, at least if you're like one of the old timers, like the old generation of Halo players, you could play like Halo 3, Halo 2, use the Forge modes in there and just enjoy yourself. Instead of being on Halo Infinite, just worried about, am I going to lag out? Am I going to get desynced? Because at least an offline mode with Halo MCC, I could play like Firefight, I could play the campaign, I could use Forge, which is more functioning than Halo Infinite. And let me give a, a big fat shout out to the Halo Forgers. I've been following you guys on Twitter, and I've seen the absolute god amazing maps you guys have made. There is a dead space map that I saw on the Halo Infinite game that looked fantastic. It brought a tear to my fucking eye. I also want to rant about this. The Halo Forgers are absolutely amazing. It took them two weeks to put Infection, the game type, into Halo Infinite. And we still, still don't have Halo Infection, not Halo, Jesus, what is wrong with me? Infection in Halo Infinite. And you know what 343 decides to do? Get a load of this, okay? Get a load of this. So instead of taking the game type and making sure that it works properly and they could get it into the system and have it as an official playlist for everybody to play, you know what they fucking do? They remove it. They remove it for custom browsers and give some lazy ass comment about saying that they can't get it into the system or something like that what, what 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 company are you guys owned by microsoft like come the fuck on and i really hate to say this to be honest because halo is one of my favorite franchises otherwise i wouldn't be here bitching about it halo needs to be shelved and be taken away from 343 or just remotely taken away from 343 and then given to a more, how can I say this, a more loving, caring, developing team that has competent management and is more happy to help out their people and get the game functioning and processing. Like, there is one development team that is under the Microsoft banner that I know for a fact could get it done. No, it's not Bethesda. God, they released the most buggiest games I've ever seen in my life. ID Software. Give it to ID Software because at least they care about the, a franchise. My God, when they released like Doom the 2016 and Doom Eternal, those games were absolute bangers. But I digress. Let's see what happens in the next couple months. Let's see if 343 can actually pull it out of the bag and actually actually make this game actually a functioning, a well-toned Halo game. But I doubt it. I doubt it because I'm going to bet you any, anything, guys. In the next couple months, we're going to be right back here in the same situation. So like I said earlier in the video, if anybody here is not sh if like are debating to go play Halo Infinite, don't. Delete the game and download Halo MCC. 
Because a message needs to be sent to 343 is that we're tired of this bullshit and we're just not going to keep feeding into the machine. I am so glad I stopped playing Halo Infinite. Yeah, sure, the gameplay's fun, but the, uh, the cons still outweigh the game. There's still, like, get a load of this, there's still no progression system in Halo Infinite. Isn't that sad? But anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, leave a like and comment in the comment section. I always like talking to you guys. And if you really did enjoy the video, if you want more of this type of content, please hit the big red subscribe button. You'll get more of my videos. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, fam.